CS5 has added all kinds of brushes and shapes and presets and different things like that to kind of help you along the way instead of uh, creating all your graphics from scratch. Uh, let's take a look at one of my favorite ones, open up the, uh, the presets one image for the first part of the lesson, and it's going to be a gradient. All right, so when you click on your gradient tool, you come up here to the gradient picker, uh, you'll see there's something called neutral density. And this simulates a, a graduated neutral density filter that you might use um, on your camera when you're out photographing. But now you can do after the fact. If, if this looks familiar, if you use Camera Raw or if you use Lightroom, we can do something very similar in there with a graduated filter. Okay, but recognizing not everyone uses Camera Raw and Lightroom, Adobe's also added a gradient preset so we can do it in Photoshop. So open up the image here. We're going to create a brand new layer. And then I'm just going to take my gradient tool. I'm just going to click and drag. All right. And you can see it just adds this blah looking dark gradient. You know, we could create that really ourselves. It just, it, now it's a preset that we don't have to create it. However, it's not really complete until you change the blend mode, which is why we added this on its own layer uh, to maybe soft light or even overlay. Okay. Overlay is just kind of a, a more colorful version of soft light. All right, so just you know, depending on which one you like, let's go with overlay for this one. So that's before, that's after. Remember, it is on its own layer, so you could always grab your eraser tool here. And if you happen to, you know, I don't really have too much in the foreground. I could erase it if I did hit anything here. If you had a mountain right here, uh, that'd be perfect. Just you know, take your eraser tool and you could erase it away. But hence, I don't have a mountain. All right, and there's nothing saying that you only have to use it for sky. Uh, create another new layer. Go back to your gradient tool and you can drag one up from the bottom and once again change your layer blend mode let's go with soft light that's before and that's after okay so lots of neat things that you can start to do with that and especially when you 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 don't just use the gradient itself but you mix in the blend modes and things like that uh, let's jump over to preset 2.jpg uh, one of my other the the area that i like the most um, is the custom shapes so you come over here to your shape tool, you choose the custom shape tool. And if you come over here to the shape picker, you go to the pop out menu, you'll see there's some new stuff in here. Uh, there's artistic textures, there's film, uh, there's a grind pack and there's a light bulb. So let's check out artistic textures. I'm just gonna, I normally click append to append it onto the list, but I'm gonna click okay because I just wanna show you these textures. And the way it works is you click on one. Let's do it all onto a separate layer and then just click and drag and you can kind of move it around like so click and drag again let's go ahead and grab our shape tool and just kind of just keep dragging these these guys out all right now by itself kind of funky but if you change the blend mode again let's say something like overlay you could see you start to get some some interesting effects with it and especially if you were to come over here and reduce the opacity all right, so some interesting textures, which is ex exactly what they are. They're just textures. It's not, you're not going to use this on every single image. It's just more of a special effect, okay? And there's a lot of other ones inside here, but I do want to show you a tip with this. Let me delete that shape layer. One of the things that you can do, I'm going to create a blank layer, and I'm going to, let's reset my layer style to nothing, and I'm just going to drag one of these out onto the canvas, hide the background, take our rectangular marquee tool here. I'm just going to draw a rectangle around it. Come up here to the edit menu and come down to define brush preset. And what that lets me do is it lets me save it as a brush. So we'll just call it sampled brush one, hit okay. And now I'm not restricted to just using it as a plain old custom shape layer. I can create a brand new layer here, go over to my brush tool, and now if you look at the preset list here, right at the bottom, you'll see sampled brush one. That's what we just created. Click on that. And then of course we have our extended brush palette here. And if I start to do things like shape, uh, shape dynamics and size jitter, if I start to throw scattering and all these different things inside of there, when I start drawing on the, the canvas here, you see you get lots of different effects and I'm not going to quite do that many. All right. Change that layer blend mode, let's say over here to overlay, reduce the opacity. And it, it's a lot, it's a lot more custom, it's a lot more random than you just sitting there and dragging shape layer after shape layer out. So if you see any of those little textures and shapes and things that you like, you can always turn them into a brush and you can apply them in a very randomized way. All right. So let's get out of there. Uh, take a look at the shapes again. You'll see that there is, let's take a look through here. Um, artistic textures, there's film. 
So we've got these little film strips, so just drag one out like so. Uh, come down one more time here and go into the grime vector pack. And this one's pretty cool. Uh, these are actually taken uh, largely from Adobe Illustrator. And uh, same thing here, just create this little grimy look. Again, it doesn't look like so much here, but when you change the layer blend mode and maybe even reduce that opacity, uh, you start to get some interesting effects with it. And then finally, the last one here uh, is going to be light bulb. Folks, it's in the beta. If it makes it to the full version, um, good, I guess, but I got nothing. Um, <laughs> that's what it looks like. Let's, let's change the layer blend mode here to normal. So I suppose if, if you want a light bulb, there you got it. You got a light bulb. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Anyway, uh, jump over here to the brush tool and I'm not going to go over every single one, but if you go over here to the brush tool, you're going to see uh, DP brushes M brushes, round brushes with size. Uh, so there's definitely uh, some additions inside there. So you got gradients, you got custom shapes, you got brushes. Uh, the theme is, is, is the presets that we had inside of Photoshop just kind of got a little bit of a facelift. And now there's some more, uh, some more useful and a little bit more, uh, I guess you can call it trendy uh, kinds of presets inside of there.